This video is sponsored by Filmora Video Editor. If you're new to video editing, then try Filmora for both Windows and Mac. You can edit videos, photos, audio, and more with their awesome set of tools. If you buy the one-year license to Filmora, you get the iMedia Converter Deluxe for free, valued at $39.99. There's a giveaway for a chance to win a free license, a $50 Amazon gift card, and a 50% off discount coupon. Link is going to be in the description. Now let's get started. What is going on everybody? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial uh, is obviously going to be an illustrator and a Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this is the, you know, picture of me before. Okay. And then from here, as you can see, we're going to turn it into an, uh, into an outlined uh, illustration. So we're going to turn it into that. Okay. And then we've done this in Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then the next and the final step is to color it in and kind of shade it and it will look something like this and well that looks that looks so weird it looks like it just came out of my screen okay uh before i stop before i start tripping out um you got that going on which looks pretty cool um, first thing you want is of course to open up adobe illustrator you want to go into file a new and you want to create a document that is 1000 pixels by 1000 and click on create um, assuming your picture is uh, a square, it doesn't have to be a square, it can be whatever size you want, honestly, but just make sure it's like a thousand pixels or more. And then from here, what you want to do is import your photo. So just go to file and go to, uh, let's see, let's place, and then you're going to select your photo and it's going to place it in here, just scale it to the uh, dimensions of the artboard. And then here on your layers, I'm going to move this over here, in your layers, um, panel here you're going to have uh, the first image here so go ahead and select it and go to the top where it says opacity click on that or you can do this one here as well and just bring that down to around 35 percent maybe 40 percent is just right then you want to lock the layer so you can't select it and go ahead and hide that and then the next thing would be of course to have your uh, outlines uh, which would look like this okay so what I would suggest you guys do is go to the brush tool right here or the paint brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard you want to make sure that there is no fill so go here at the top select this one here or on this side it works as well and you want to make sure there's a black stroke so you go here double click make sure it's black and the stroke you want for now is one pixels and you want to create a new layer of course i already did i already have i've already done this but i'm going to show you how to do it so the stroke is going to be one pixels and uniform is just you can keep that at the same uniform round and everything the same uh, before we go any further we're going to go into window we're going to go into appearance okay and here on these little uh, three line, four lines, you're going to have something that's called new art has basic appearance. Okay, that's going to be checked. The reason we want to uncheck this, you want to make sure it's unchecked, is because when you're making your lines, it doesn't reset the values um, over here. So if I were to do 0 0.5 and I do that, you can see that it resets it. So you don't want that. So you want to make sure that it's um, unchecked. Okay. Sweet. So from here, we're going to go back to one point and we are on our new layer. Okay. And it's good to rename some layers so you can name it like outline and go to the paintbrush tool and start kind of selecting your face, maybe your neck. It really depends what you want, uh, but go ahead and just make that selection. So, so once you have made your selection of the face here, uh, maybe the line is too thin. So go ahead and select it. By using the uh, direct selection tool or just the selection tool go to stroke and just make that like two points uh, well, maybe that's too big I guess we can do like 1.5 there we go okay so from here we we'll go back to the paintbrush tool and we're gonna bring this down to 0.75 and at this point you just want to zoom in and kind of make like a little droopy like line like that okay and then from here all you want to do is kind of drag this down so it goes under the eyelid and then the next one would be over to go on the on this eyelid there and then you would do that again to go in the inner eyelid and then again for the um, bottom eyelid like that okay and maybe we can move this in like that 
Sweet. So you got something like that. It looks kind of weird, but it's okay. But um, from, you know, from doing all of this, you're going to have something that will look like this, okay? And of course, you want to do that in the neck. You want to do something like this. And to do that part, if I go back here, it's very simple. You want to, if we're going to do the neck, we're going to go down and we're going to use um, the seam stroke. So you use the eyedropper tool and then go back to the brush and you can do something that's similar. So you can do something like this and just still go down and you can go like that like so okay and then if you want to you can go ahead and select each of these points with the direction selection tool and you can move them down you can move them however you want you can even add more by pressing the pen tool or press p click on here and then you can move that out like that and then probably add another one here and so you can move something like this. Maybe add another point here. So you can do something like that and so on, okay? From here, all you have to do is go to File, go to Export, and go to Save for Web. You want Transparency checked and also get rid of, let me go back, hide this layer so you only have a white background with the black letters. So you're gonna go to File and then Export, Save for Web. And then it's going to look like this, transparency, PNG 24, save and save it. And then we're going to hop into Photoshop. All right, guys. So in Photoshop, I have the image uh, imported here as well. And this is um, what it's going to look like. So we have we go from step to step. So this is what it's going to look like with the outlined everything done. As you can see, we just literally pasted it on top, create a new layer and you choose a color. Let's say we wanted yellow. So we're going to click this, choose yellow, something like that and then option delete to fill that with, uh, to fill the layer with that color. Then you're gonna create a uh, little mask. So click on this and they're gonna have with, uh, this little white box and then you're gonna press D to go from black to white and black will hide and white will show. So if you can see we're painting with black using the brush tool and you're literally going to erase quote unquote erase you're not actually deleting it that's why you, um, let's say we messed up here press x to shift the colors so now it's white and we can paint with white so we can get that color back eventually i'm not going to do it because that'll take forever it's gonna look something like this, okay? Let's say you don't like that color, you can easily go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And here in the saturation, you can change this slider to whatever color you want, or sorry, not the saturation, the hue. So you can change that to purple if you wanted to. You can change it from like a light, a darker to a more vibrant color. It's, it's all up to you, okay? So um, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna undo that though. And then from here, the next thing you need to do is to create a new, um, what I like to call shading layers. So we already have the outlined layer and then we already have this color. So now we have uh, the white eyes. So create a new layer and name it white eyes. And you're gonna paste that on top of the color. And then you're gonna literally paint it with white. So we're gonna make this brush smaller. And you're gonna paint with white here. So you can just go white and then paint it as you can see, but just stay within that black uh, area or this little stay within here. Okay. So paint that white with the brush tool in the white eyes layer. It should only be in this layer. Then you're going to create a new layer and you're going to name it shading under eyes or whatever, whatever freaking text you want. <laughs> and then you're going to choose a color. It doesn't really matter. I chose this one. It looks kind of cool. It's like a, like a bluish green, like an aqua green. And you're literally gonna paint that in as well. And you don't need a quick mask or anything like that um, because let me show you, let's say we want that one. Maybe you want it like, a, like this color and we brush it. You're gonna see that it paints under the lines and that's because we want the outline to be on the very top. 
If it's below, it's going to look like this, and you don't want that, of course. I'm not going to do that, though, because I like it how it is, okay? And you're going to do that for both eyes. Cool, now you have this going on, which looks kind of creepy, but it, it looks pretty cool at the same time. The next thing, which will take the most time, is to do the shading. And what you would normally do is, um, let me show you, whoops, what did I do? Is you would create a new layer, and I'm going to create a new layer so I can show you guys. So you would select this color. So sample this color using the eyedropper tool, and you're going to double click on the color that you just sampled, and you're literally going to drag this down. Okay, and if you want it darker, move it to the right. If you want it lighter, drag it to the left. I'm just dragging this down to about, mm, I don't know, halfway, a little more than halfway. And then you're going to have a different color, but it's going to be the same shade of that color, if that makes sense. So now you can go underneath, choose like, in this case, I want this to be the shadow part. So everything on the left side is going to have a shadow. So what I would do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to start painting underneath. And you're going to see now that it's starting to look like, like, you know, my head is in front and the neck is a little further back because we have those shadows. So you would do that with literally every little uh, melting effect here or grime. So you would go kind of like this and you would go down and something like this. So now it looks like a little bit more realistic. So you can go down like this. Okay, because every all the shadows coming from the left side because the light is on coming from the right. So we're going to do everything on the left like this, okay? So you can do something like this, maybe a little bit more. And you're going to do this for each one, and that's going to take a bit of time, but it's honestly worth it. So just keep doing that, and then it will look eventually like this, okay? From this point, you're literally done. You could, of course, um, do this for the lips, for the nose, under the nose, under the little eyes here. If I go in, you're going to do this for the same part. So the light is kind of coming from the top right. So the shadows are going to be coming from the bottom left. So we're going to have shadows going under the eyes, under here, 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 kind of. Here, 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 and over there, okay? And just this just creates some depth so that it looks a little bit more realistic and not flat. Because if not, this is what it would look like. And it kind of looks boring, right? So when we add some shading, it looks a lot a lot cooler. Then you would, of course, throw in your image on top. So it looks like this. But first, you would want to make sure that everything is grouped. So you would select everything you've done, Command-G, and it's going to look like this once you have it grouped. And I think when you group it, there's going to be some white areas around. And that's because you have, I believe it's this one here, this mask. It's going to look something... Um, let me see if I can. It's gonna look something like this. Uh, this is red because that's that's what the what the background was. But if yours was white, it's gonna show like white around. Just literally switch the colors to black and paint it black. But you're actually hiding that color, and that way it will hide it, and you can't even tell it was there. So now you'll have just this outline or this illustration. Then you would uh, group that and make sure that's on the very top layer, and then you would throw in the back. Uh, or the original image below so you have this and you have now this really cool grime art illustration effect that looks really cool and it's really easy to do it's just a matter of time and you know it's not really skill but it's just a matter of time to do this and you're finished with this and it looks really cool and if you wanted to still change the eyes uh, like let's say you wanted to change the color of that you go to shading under eyes Go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and just change the hue here. So you can do some more green, more yellow. This is so trippy on my monitor. It looks like it's in 3D. I don't know. It's just really weird. Uh, you can do blue, whatever color you want. So that's just a quick little basics of, of how to do this. Um, if I showed you how to do it from start to finish, that would take like three hours so obviously I'm not going to do that but if you guys found this tutorial helpful please leave a like guys that'd be awesome subscribe turn on the bell notification if you guys want more photoshop tutorials then leave a like and I'll catch you guys next time peace